Hello everyone and welcome to another Gozasan on the decks with your host Gozasan. And today we're actually going to talk about a different game, more like strategies to a specific game. And what I'm going to talk about is Plants vs Zombies 2. Now, if you haven't played the game, I think you'll be quite familiar with this. Uh, mainly uh, Plants vs Zombies 2 is out, and if you if you know where Plants, uh, what, don't know what Plants vs Zombies 2 is, I suggest you go check it out. It's a free game. It's on iOS. It's soon gonna come out for uh, Android, I think. But right now we'll focus on um, uh, on on the game itself. So right now, what I'm going to talk about is strategies to if you play Plants vs Zombies 2. I'm talking about the challenge levels, where you just uh, face up against endless levels of uh, harder and harder challenges and see how many levels you can outlast because I actually have a record here give me a second let me see my record I think okay my record uh, pyramid of doom I'm about level 20 something big bad uh, dead man's booty I'm about level 33 and Big Bad Butte, I'm at level 24. Now, of course, that's that's quite high levels already. And in fact, it gets really tough during those periods. So I was like wondering, uh, wanting to show you guys what are some of the best plans to bring in those, kind of those kinds of levels. Because in different time periods, you're going to face out against different zombies. And different plants will work better against certain zombies than other plants would. So let's just get right into it. Uh, first of all, I would like to say that we can classify certain um, different classes of plants. Like this is the list of uh, different kinds of classes of plants. They are effectively um, have to sort of um, uh, be have certain traits that allow it to be in a specific class of plants. Now. I have a list here, but first we'll talk about the classes of plants, then we'll talk about the plants that are in those particular classes in Plants vs. Zombies 2. First, uh, we have economy, sun-producing plants, which, I um, oh, which is quite obvious, you know, the sunflower, the twin sunflower, so we'll not go into that, those are quite important, you always have to bring at least one, uh, just bring one. Uh, of any of those um, uh, of the sunflowers into battle at all times, and you have defense protects damage uh, protects damage dealing plants. Sorry, what it means is it protects against uh, protects against zombies uh, like the walnut and tallnut that does also doesn't really need any much introduction, and if you know that in general. But uh, okay, let's let's uh, I'll talk about that later. But uh, yeah, we'll move on. Temporary support, supportive attacking plants that are used for early waves, replaced later when you have spare sun for heavier hitting plants. Uh, temporary support. That means uh, I have two different uh, two types: temporary support, and another one is first line damage. Now, the difference between first line damage and temporary support is that first line damage it just deals damage. Whereas temporary support, they have certain uh, abilities which can help in uh, neutralizing certain threats or to stall the enemy. Like say, you compare the uh, pea shooter with the kernel pulp. Now the pea shooter just deals damage. Everyone knows that. But the kernel pulp, not only does it deal damage, though slightly less than the kernel pulp, it also throws butter which stuns zombies. Now that is why that can be classified as temporary support. Um, and then you have like, um, you compare the uh, pea shooter with the split pea. The pea shooter deals damage, but the split pea has a secondary function which neutralizes uh, uh, zombies that are behind it. Because it deals more damage that way. Similar, the lightning reed is under temporary support. Um, iceberg lettuce is also under temporary support because it's temper. Um, it deals its effects temporarily. 
and Bloomerang will uh, snow pea and stuff like that. I, I think you get the picture. Now we talk about filters and oh my god, this is one plant that you will absolutely, uh, this is one type of plant that you absolutely need in your, um, in your challenge levels. Now what the filters are, it has to uh, adhere to two criteria. One is that it can damage multiple enemies. And the second thing is that it will deal more damage the more enemies it is up against. Now two plants, um, the, there are three plants that go under this category, which I, a uh, few plants in fact. The uh, first one is the spike weed. Snap, the next one Snapdragon. Of course, Spike Rod, you can also add that, but it, we'll talk about that later. Bloomerang is also a filter weapon. Uh, filter plant, sorry. The, um, the Melon Pulse and the Winter Melon, also filters. Now, what the filters do, as you can see here, it deal, as I said, deals more damage the more enemies it's up against, but mainly it's there to help the, to allow other damaging plants to focus on larger targets. Like, say you have three zombies coming at you and you have a bloomerang trying to damage those three zombies. One of them is a bucket hit, one of them is a cone hit, and one of them is a normal zombie. Now, you know that the bloomerang will hit... Um, okay, let's just get a bit of a visual. Now, you know that the bloomerang will hit these three at once. But, it will kill this guy first. And then it will filter out the strong targets like the bucket hit zombie and the cone hit zombie left. So... As I said, filter plants allow other plants to f focus on the harder enemies. That's why it's not good to put filter plants alone. Like, you see the bloomerang, it, it's a good plant, but it attacks really, really slowly. And that's why you need to put up some backup uh, for it to actually be able to be more effective. It's like, you know, your... Uh, sniper in certain uh, shooting games, you pick off the more dangerous targets and uh, or you take off uh, specific targets that will help the enemy team so that your your team can flush out whatever is uh, remaining to allow them to focus on more dangerous targets or you focus on dangerous targets to leave the small fries for your uh, for your team to finish off so yeah and I recommend you taking at least one filter plant, but we'll talk about more about that later. One hit wonders are plants that will deal heavy damage uh, and are one use plants. So it's like potato mine, cherry bomb, uh, jalapeno, stuff like that. I, I think you get the picture. It only lasts for after they do their thing. So there are two types, early and late game. Early is like um, those one-hit wonders you can use to stall, to build up your economy. Like say, if you're starting off, you start plants on sunflowers, and then when the first zombie comes in, you plant a potato mine, so it can save some of that sun um, to plant more sunflowers, and stuff like that. So yeah, and late game, uh, th that's early game, because you're stalling to build up economy, and late game would be, once you have the economy going and you have a proper defense, you can use more harder hitting one hit wonders like the Alpino or the Cherry Bomb and stuff like that. So early, early one hit wonders would be Potato Mine, Squash, Chili Bean and late, uh, late one hit wonders will be Alpino, Cherry Bomb. Simple as that. Okay. So specific support. Useless on some levels, but absolutely powerful in the levels specific to them. Uh, which rings up into, like, say, Grave Buster, Spring Bean, uh, Split Pea, uh, and Imitator. So, well, Imitator, not exactly specific support, right, because, because it, it works on all levels. So, I, 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 I think we'll cancel that. So, we'll ignore the repeater here. Uh, imitator, I mean, sorry. So, we'll talk about specific support is only useful on the levels that is useful. they, they are useful on. Like Grave Buster, they're only very good on Egypt levels, but what kind of use would they do on Wild West and Pirate levels where there's absolutely no graves for them to eat? 
and also like say uh, spring bee they are good on pirate levels because they can insta kill zombies but what's the point of just no uh, knocking pirates back in other le in in like wild west or egypt levels when you just have to kill them doesn't make any sense right so specific support everyone and yeah next we'll go on to burst damage now burst damage um is a bit hard to describe it's more like it deals high damage in a short amount of time but of course it needs backup in order to fully utilize damage output because if it if a look if they're alone they probably might get overwhelmed like say uh the two plants that i put down here uh actually there are a few plants i put there coconut cannon bong choy repeater multiple now some of these plants like the repeater and the multiple don't really need much backup but uh, mainly I'm talking about the can coconut cannon and the bong choy because the coconut cannon it deals a high amount of damage but it can't yeah but it doesn't deal it continuously it deals it once <coughs> excuse me and then it has to recharge but the bong choy it deals heavy damage but it's very weak if it gets overwhelmed like say if you bring like <coughs> I mean, okay, you sure you got the bong choy, you got the walnut protecting it, but that's five zombies chewing on the walnut at a time. The bong choy is not going to survive because bong choy only can damage one zombie at a time. So you can imagine just how fragile the bong choy is in those kind of situations. <coughs> Sorry, I'm talking too much. That's why I'm coughing away right now. So I better. Uh, okay, but yeah, I I I think you get the point. Uh, burst damage deals high damage in a short amount of time, but it's, they still need backup. Yeah. Okay, we'll move on to full support. Now, long time support plans to deal additional damage to enemies. Now, these two I would put there: torchwood and power lily, which are uh store bot plants only so this full support is under uh only has two uh store bot plants which is the torchwood and the power lily because they they can stay there for as long as they want well power lily is not that long it's just poof one 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 plant food that that's about it but you can use them anytime you want uh, any how you want and they will generally help in any situation. Makes sense, right? Uh, <coughs> the Torchwood helps uh, pea shooter type plants out. And the uh, Power Lily helps to build up your, your firepower, um, emergency firepower whenever you need it. Sorry, just need to get some water. Give me a second, guys. <coughs> okay. Now we move on to the last, last class, the heavy mainstays, which are plants that are used to replace weaker plants on the lawn. Uh, they are used in later waves. So the heavy mainstays would be like um, winter melon. Or, and the peapod. These two plants deal a lot of damage, but they cost a ton of sun to plant, which is why they are used in later later waves. I mean, first you you replace the heavy mainstays, uh, you replace the first line damage plants, and maybe the the temporary support plants later on with the heavy mainstays. So, yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah. Uh, that's about it. So, with that, we will begin by describing each plant first and the zombies and how to uh, certain combos you can use to pair them up and then absolutely wreck the zombie horde. Uh, some good plants. Okay. <coughs> so, let's begin. Uh, first, we'll talk about the pea shooter. Uh, pea shooters are 
good first uh, first line uh, damage plants. They are classified under first line damage plants, of course. And you should replace them once you get uh, the sun up, the economy up, and you get harder hitting plants, and then you replace them. They are good if there is nothing to block their projectiles from the main enemy. Like say if you use them on uh, Egypt levels, their, their P uh, projectiles are blocked by the graves. So you'll need to remove the graves in order to for the P shooter to deal any damage. Or you are on uh, pirate seas levels, and when you use the pea shooter, it gets blocked by ba the barrels from barrel roller zombies, like like say here. Yeah, the barrel roller zombie. It has a barrel here with two imps inside, so it blocks the damage. And generally, the the um, catapult type plants will be able to damage the zombie pushing the barrel. So that's good. So pea shooters are good. If there's nothing blocking its way when it shoots, which is why pea shooter type plants um, are good to be used with the jalapeno. Uh, well, mainly that's on Egypt levels because the jalapeno can clear the whole lane, and the pea shooter has a clear line of sight to shoot the zombies. Simple as that. Good combo. Uh, also, as you know, Torchwood is good as well, but, well, if you have the money, you don't have the money, then too bad. <laughs> I also don't have the money, so, uh, I can't really buy anything. Alright, let's move on to the first economy plant, the Sunflower. Uh, of course, you have to pick up a, a one sun-producing plant at all times. The Sunflower is good if you don't really have much to worry in terms of space because even though the twin sunflower can save up space it's cheaper to build and you'll get your economy much faster compared to the twin sunflower uh, yes if you like say I, I right now have 75 sun to start with because I had the bonus as well only one sunflower will give you uh, um, uh, we'll reduce it to 25, then two suns will drop, one from the sunflower and one from the sky, and then you have 75 back, and then you just keep on repeating, and generally you'll be able to get your economy much faster compared to the twin sunflower. So, if you know that you aren't going to face up against too hard, uh, too hard an enemy, the sunflower is good to uh, pick up, especially since you don't get twin sunflower that, that early on anyway. So, yeah. Next, we move on to the first defensive plant, the walnut. In general, I find that using the tall nut isn't too necessary. Like, as long as you have enough plants that will help to deal with the enemies, uh, like in pirate seas levels and also wild west levels, you generally don't need the tall nut to help to block the imps that fly around, cause it's not really necessary. <coughs> And because at clutch moments, especially during uh, later levels, like about level 15 and above, you want to use as little sun as possible to stall as many zombies as you can on the early waves. Because they will, the, the, number, the amount of zombies during the early waves will increase as the levels get harder. As the number of levels increases, as the um, yeah stuff like that, so you want to try and make sure you have a cheap defensive plan to put on uh, for those clutch movements. That's why the walnut is good in most cases compared to the tall nut. I mean, yeah, sure you can block launch dims, but if you put a bonk choy behind the walnut and the aim gets launched behind the walnut, the bonk choy could generally reach uh, hit the aim that gets launched behind anyway. And stuff like that. Alright, next we'll talk about the first one-hit wonder plant, which is the potato mine. This is an early one-hit wonder. As I said, there's two types, early and late. This is an early one because it can help you to stall the enemy uh, as you build up your economy. So, but in general, you can use it anytime if you have like a certain space you can throw in. I always like to bring either the potato mine or the chili bean with me anytime I'm... 
uh, anytime I um, uh, do a challenge level because those are important as well. But potato mine, the only flaw that the potato mine has is on pirate seas levels. Where the in the pirate seas levels you have two, you have you have two places the potato mine will work on. It, it, it's those plank lanes where you the potato mine you can't plant any potato mines there, and also it's not high enough to deal any damage to seagull zombies. Uh, if you see the seagull zombie, you know that it flies above certain low-lying plants like the iceberg lettuce, spike, uh, spikes, and also the potato mine. So that's not going to work. In that case, the chili bean might be better. But then again, the chili bean has also uh, certain flaws as well. And I would think the squash is a better all-around one-hit KO plant. But we'll go into that later.